Good morning, everybody. Welcome in to your pick a card for the day, your daily divine message for August, Thursday, August 29th. We've got card one has an owl on top. Card two has a sailor's, a sailboat a steering wheel. And on top of card three is a bat a bat so let me know or stop rather and let yourself look at this and let me know what you think about the card after you've pulled it if it applies to you welcome to pick more than one to see if you picked the wrong one but i would appreciate the feedback but let's get to it card one courage in uh in reversal so some of you um, are being called to use some of your wisdom and your leadership skills. You're being called to step away. There's something you're facing right now that you're not feeling courageous about. And uh, we wanna send love and light out to whoever is feeling a lack of courage because it is in reverse. So you have the wisdom to figure out how to get out of this. Owls represent wisdom. And so whatever situation you're in, uh, we send prayers, but you do have the wisdom to figure out a way to get out of this. But right now you're not feeling courageous. So you're being encouraged to pull, to pull all of the wisdom you have together and you can figure this out. So we're sending you love and prayers and, but you will be able to figure this out. I'm gonna come back to pile one in a second because uh, at the end of this, I'm holding this and videotaping. I wanna do a positive sign for that, a, a prayer, um, a, a card from your guides here. So this one is delight and the steering wheel. So uh, somebody here is not feeling super happy. The steering wheel represents to me uh, the ship and the water and somebody here who is feeling a little bit depressed is kind of on a journey out of control so card one and two may be applicable both of them for some people um but you're being asked to find everything you can to find gratitude in everything you can find the delight in the small things because I think right now we're gonna turn this around and see if that energy shifts. I'm gonna do that like that. Ooh, I can feel that. And like this, it just feels so much better. We're gonna upright these for you and hopefully the energy shifts. But I'm gonna come back and do uh, another card for both of these because right now I'm feeling the energy is a little bit tough for card one and two. So we've got bat and voyage and there's two for this one illumination so this this these cards feel a little heavy today not gonna lie so the bat <coughs> energy <coughs> is a death rebirth and the voyage single signals you know a journey an internal journey and the illumination so for this pile a little more encouraging you're heading on a voyage where you've coming out of the death, the, the bat is a death and rebirth, like I said. So you've maybe had something where you've health or relationship or financially, you've been through the ringer and you absolutely are on this journey of healing and coming back up, you know, because the voyage of the whales is there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of emotional wisdom. So it's sort of an emotional journey with the water being there and a healing journey. But in this journey, you're going to realize that there was some great things, the illumination, when you take to the time to learn what it means to have gone through something difficult, what the positives are. It's a universal law. You can't have good and all good and no bad, and you can't have bad and all good or no good. There's a universal law that says, you know, that you have the, that's the symbol of the yin and the yang. There, there's light and dark in everything. And so it's for you to really figure out this death of yourself. It's usually about the death of yourself. Some part of your soul was hurt, 
was felt betrayed, whether financial, in relationships, in work, uh, whatever that is, um, health-wise. This journey that you're going on, this you're resurging from that, and you're you're coming back and you're rebuilding a new version, a new look at things. This illumination is giving you the insight because you've been taking the time or if you haven't been you're being asked to take the time to figure out what it is that you can benefit from what it is that you did benefit from how did you change how did you grow what did you learn from this emotional journey you're on that resurgence this is the time to take those lessons of what you learned and apply them from the journey because there is, like I said, no good uh, on its own. There's no bad experience on its own. There's good and bad in everything. And it's up to us to make the best out of hard experiences and to figure out what the illumination is, what the lesson is, what the positive is. So I'm going to do something a little differently for ca cards pile one and two because I'm holding my phone. I'm going to feel the cards and see energetically which one I want to pick for which one I want to pick for pile one acceptance see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance in this way you inspire and lift everyone to the higher potential okay so there's your higher guidance to have the courage to see yourself and the eyes and others through the eyes of acceptance and unconditional love. That takes courage to forgive people. It takes courage to love ourselves. But notice how the angels are looking down much like the owl with wisdom, with wisdom, because right now you're in this emotional roller coaster. Look at how high those waves are. They're hitting those rocks, but you're being asked to stand upside, aside yourself, to look at yourself, the other people, the situation, whatever it is for you, and see everybody from the eyes of how the angels would see it, how the owl would see it, through unconditional love and acceptance for whatever's going on, you have the courage, you can do this. And when you stand from a higher ground and see what other people have done with unconditional love and acceptance, you inspire and lift everyone up to the highest potential. And I feel like this pile applies to me with all the negative things going on in the YouTube worlds. So I hope that helped pile one. Pile two, let's get you another card I'm picking here from I feel like this one here wants to come out okay have confidence look at this having confidence and it was in reverse so your confidence is a little bit shattered here right now moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself confidence in God is enough along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways Learn upon, learn, lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. Now, look at this and we will buoy your courage and faith, which is a term for the buoy in the water, right? So interesting that we got the, the, the water. Okay, and this bird is looking, it looks like upside down, it's the sky, but upside down, it looks like there's water. So very interesting for pile two. More confidence, really. Find the delight in knowing that you've got angels and guides supporting you. Find your confidence. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one for pile three, two, now that we're doing this. And we've got, be honest with yourself. Look into your heart. You will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. 
Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon true desires and they will come to you upon angels' wings. There you go. Illuminate, illuminate. Start doing the work, okay? Start doing the work. So love and light, everybody. And I hope this helped today. We will see you later for the case of the day. I don't know which yet I'm going to do, but I'm going to do that next for a 1 p.m. release and 4 p.m. live. We have things to talk about at 4 p.m. regarding Sebastian Rogers. Love and light. See you then.